Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got Salmon Great Post Banless Stallio Just Got Limited and it changes the deck up a pretty decent amount. So um I'll just go over the changes one by one. Before I do that, um something you might notice in the list, Flame Buffalo is missing, a very um nice starter. Um the thing is I'd rather just normal summon a Lady Debug than a Flame Buffalo with Stallio at one. Lady Debug's value just increases over the top since it's able to get access to a Stallion which gets access to a Jaguar, can get access to Gazelle if you need to just dump a trap, search it with the Sunlight Wolf and that way you've got a, an interruption rotation. Um, not to mention you can search stuff like Spinny if you already have Gazelle access, C Archiver if you need the extender. Um, Lady Debug just is so good with um, Stallion. There's, you want to get access to this more often the flame buffalo which just gives you raw advantage and that might not be what the deck needs right now you need just stallio access full stop so a triple debug two foxy you're usually using it for its graveyard effect to um summon itself back but um, the only reason i'm running two is that its grave effect is somewhat conditional and um, its normal summon effect isn't half bad either so Sometimes if you have like one copy in your hand one copy in your graveyard Depending on the hand you might just want to go for the normal summon attempt to get a an engine piece in rotation so um, Two foxy the one falco. It's uh, searchable recur recurrable and um, It can also recur other things and once you get with that one single copy of falco in rotation uh, You'll never need another copy. So you only need one uh, one gazelle, it's pity this card is at one, otherwise this would be an excellent um, normal summon two. Um, it just is a free Mirage Stallio, it searches all of your um, Salamangrade traps, which are interruption, and it also acts as an extender in the hand, so an um, extremely important card. The double Jaguar, um, Jaguar is your going to be your main summon off Mirage Stallio if you haven't gotten to Gazelle already. Uh, sometimes you might even want to go for the Falco, but uh, Jaguar not only recycles material, it also sums itself to Link Point, so you can extend into an Update Jammer or a Transco Talker. Triple Spinny before Stallio was unbanned while it was zero. Um, Salad decks would routinely just play one or two, but with Stallio at three and the need for level three monsters, uh, Spinny's value just skyrockets and not not to mention since you're overlaying for the Mir Mirage Stallio You're able to maintain that one copy of Spinny in the graveyard and you're able to summon it back every single turn not, Well, not every single turn since Stallio is just at one, but still an extremely important card Double C Archiver another really nice extender probably the best one since one it's cybers So you're not conflicting with Transco Talker and two is able to summon stuff from the hand or graveyard Not to mention it is searchable off Lady Debug and Signet Mining So C Archiver is kind of the best level 3 extender you can play in this deck so two of it for sure um, And that's it for our main cyber sponsor. We have Triple Ash, Triple Ghost Bell I've opted for these hand traps specifically since they're both level 3 monsters and did you know that Mirage Salio, his materials are generic, so you're able to go for Ash or Bell if in a if you are in a predicament, you might just want to normal summon Ash um, overlaying the Stalio. Like that can come up and has someone come up in testing. So really nice pair of cards. Triple sign at mining searches all of the stuff you need. Um, all your engine pieces, you can grab a gazelle if you need to. Um, sign mining, discard a salamander, great card, search gazelle, triggers gazelle. You can grab lady debug, the foxy, you can discard foxy actually. You can discard jack jaguar, you can discard falco. Um, there are lots of nice cards to discard, lots, lots of nice cards to search too. So a triple sign mining for sure. One copy circle just to search one of your com um, pieces again. Um, deck's insanely consistent, you can even push this to 41 if you want to. Um, but the one copy of Circle is extremely nice. The one copy of Sanctuary is searchable, also someone helps your plays. If your starter was Lady Debug, you need Sanctuary in order to get the Gazelle into rotation. Um, double Will, um, the reason I run Double Will is because its Soul Charge effect is just so good. Um, helps you Link Climb a lot. If your Link Climb gets interrupted, you can try it again. Maybe go into Firewall to some capacity, bounce some cards. Um, will is just a really nice card overall. Triple Desires, uh, you, you don't mind banishing a lot of stuff in this deck, especially, um, well, Jaguar you're running two of, 
uh, rage and war also two of so t there's not really anything you mind banishing gazelle might be a an exception but just a plus two is just so strong you do you it's worth the risk of banishing gazelle a uh, triple cyclone i just feel cyclone is actually going to be pretty nice in the format moving forward uh salad and striker well they might not be like tier one but they will be ex insanely popular so um being able to get rid of some of their spell traps from rotation will be big along with against sky striker same thing against tri brigades you can just banish their revolt against even dragon link you can match tiding but like, dragon link it's not going to be that popular post ban list um versus stuff like prank kids you can banish stuff their pandemonium versus shadal dogmatic and vote in banish schism it just comes up versus a lot of matchups and specifically against decks that like are like stun decks with 30 back rows set for monkey flip pass uh that th those are situations where i do play twin twister too uh, which is why i cited uh, the double rage, double roar, pretty standard. Being able to get that extra interruption is nice. If you hard draw one, you can search the other. Other, it's just extremely versatile in its use. Plus, recoverable off Sunlight Wolf, which is recyclable off Jack Jaguar, which recovers itself in the graveyard. It's just an infinite loop. And triple imperm, just another nice hand trap. The deck just can play lots of hand traps and lots of tech cards. Instead of going for all these tech cards, you can just go for a trap heavy build. Um, I just personally like the um, tech cards more, so impermanence really nice, specifically against the tri brigade matchup. You can just end their turn entirely. So, nice card overall. The one copy of Stalio for starting off with the extra deck. Um, generic materials summons a fire, summons a dude from the deck. Um, you can summon Gazelle. Uh, just grab anything you want. You can grab Jack Jaguar, Falco, Spinny. It's just such a versatile card. Um, something to remember: you cannot activate card effects except fire effect monsters. So um, you cannot go for Transcode ODK in that situation. And that is the only situation where Heat Leo might actually come up. Um, uh, don't forget that its graveyard effect can also come up being able to bounce your opponent's monsters or even bounce your own monsters if you just want to grab a little bit of follow-up. So, Stalio, broken cards, <laughs> it's really nice. Um, the one copy of Firewall. Uh, Firewall is not that bad of a card if you're able to, if you have some excess um, extenders like Sea Archiver, Foxy, uh, any of that or even Will. You're able to just go into firewall and that acts as an extra disruption for your opponent's turn. So that's nice. It also, um, if a monster discard points you is destroyed by battle, you can just summon another of Cypress from your hand. So you're able to just uh, get material that way. It also recovers your own material, which is pretty nice. So uh, firewalls, once it's one of the one copy of access code, extremely nice just for um, OTKing. It's the deck's main aggressive edge and it's realistically the only way they are OTKing. Um, triple Bailings, Triple Sunlight Wolf, um, pretty standard. You're going to burn through many copies of them because of Dex Gimmick or Reincarnation Link Summoning. Um, you just burn through the copies qu qu quite quickly. So um, you, you just want the multiples, even if it is recyclable off Jack Jaguar, you're not guaranteed access to it. Plus, you might want to recycle something else. So the three, th all three copies might come up in a game, which is why we want it. Our Double Heat Leo. Uh, Heat Leo is um, specifically nice in the case where st you're forced into a situation where st Stalio locks you. Um, it pops back row, it can reduce stuff your opponent controls, and you can just go for the OTK that way, so that's nice. Um, that's it for our Salman Green links. Um, the one copy of Transco Talker, one copy of Update Jammer, one copy of Splash Mage. It's all for the access code engine. Um, update jammer just turns access code into monster transcode makes something access code easier and a uh, splash page just some makes something transcode easier um in terms of just minimalist requirements finally we've got the one copy of lingaribo it's very easy to make you're back to your old board of Stal stallio wolf jaguar so you can end on a lingaribo and uh, that way have a trap negate versus specific matchups so um that is pretty decent i'll just show a quick combo tutorial right now so right here, um, just one lady debug is all you need for the combo. Normal summon it, grab your gazelle, link into Bailings, use Bailings' effect to grab a sanctuary. You cannot use gazelle's effect right here since a Salmangri has been yet sent into the graveyard. 
Um, it was Lady Debug. Lady Debug is not a Salman Grid, contrary to popular belief. So you will have to use Sanctuary's effect to um, link off the bailings itself. This will allow you to trigger Gazelle right here, summoning itself and going into a copy of Spinny. You can use Spinny's effect to summon itself back from the graveyard and then overlay your two salads into the Stalio. Use Stalio's effect to detach the Gazelle. Um, you want to specifically detach Gazelle right here since um, you will get you want it in your graveyard so you can recover it with Sunlight Wolf. You're going to be summoning out the Jack Jaguar. Now we can link summon a copy of Sunlight Wolf. Uh, put one of the Gazelle's uh, Bailinxes back in the deck so that you can summon out the Jaguar from the graveyard. And then Sunlight Wolf will trigger grabbing back your Gazelle. And um, if you have something like a Rage in your hand, you might just want to link off these two into a second copy of Wolf. And this will turn your Rage live. Um, not to mention you have four other cards and you have the Gazelle back in your hand. And this is where your Salman Rage just thrive with the ability to generate advantage like this and do the same thing over and over again. You've got Jaguar summon itself to Sunlight Wolf's zone again. Um, you've got Stalio, Detach Spinny, Summoner Dude, Spinny's effect will be live in the graveyard, summon itself back again. Um, it's, it's, Salamander is just again and again and again dot deck. Um, it's like a loop on repeat, <laughs> but the game shouldn't really last more than three turns since you will have the ability to... Um, no, no, we're not detaching from Stalio. Um, Otherwise, the transcode won't be live. Like, if your opponent just uh, passes to your Rage plus Imperm plus Joyous Spring, uh, during your turn, you're just able to grab back the Rage, uh, summon back the Jaguar, grab back the Ash, because, you know, Sunlight Wolf can add any Fire Monster. Um, Summon out Gazelle, get something like a Roar in rotation. Well, not that it's going to matter since you were going straight into Update Jammer. Into a Transco Talker. Into another um, user's effect to just grab back Update Jammer. And then you go into Access Code. Now right here, you have a three material access code. Um, banish three cards, pop three cards they control. It can make two attacks, so that's 10,600 damage. Um, if you don't have enough juice to get rid of everything they have, uh, you can just even go for a Stalio, summon a dude. Um, make Sunlight Wolf. And Stalio's effect will trigger bouncing a monster they control. And that is pretty much game at this point. Um, there's no way this isn't game. 10,000 attack monster. Um, you've got Rage for follow-up. It's, it's just broken. So the deck, I don't really predict it to be like tier 1 or tier 2. But it will definitely just be better in Rogue. Um, it might be tier 2. Um, actually, I, I don't think it'll be tier 2. Um... But, you know, if it does end up being tier 2, put my, um, just tell me that I was dumb back then. So, I am a better person. Um, that is kind of just the deck combo, how it's going to be played post ban list. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.